This gem method is actually insane. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best ways to make gems in anime defenders. Make sure you guys stay to the end of the video where we showcase the best units to use for this method. However, let's jump straight into the video and make sure you find that capture. Okay, so starting off, we are going to take a look at Tower of Eternity. Why are we having a look at Tower of Eternity? It's because at wave 127, look at my reward. This is insane. I am getting a 500 gems for trait crystals. Yes, 500 gems and four trait crystals. These trait crystals are going insane on the market right now. You, you could probably sell one of these trait rerolls for a thousand gems and probably one frostbind for like four rerolls. The economy is absolutely broken right now. So make sure you guys farm the Tower of Eternity, but I will show you the best units to use. So obviously, if you want to get on the leaderboard, you're going to need Almighties and you're going to need Secrets. As you can see, I am one. I am for one two seven, and yes, I use Secrets. Yes. However, there is a free-to-play unit which you can get and roll Almighty on, and I will show you that unit right now. That unit is going to be Jade Knight. Yes, that is right. Why Jade Knight? He is a all-around AOE on placement. He also does a 15% fear buff. So make sure you guys get Jade Fire Knight if you are free to play. The best rolls you can actually do on Jade is to get Almighty on him. So if I do a couple of rerolls right now, do I get Almighty? Nope, no Almighty, but that's okay. The reason you want Almighty on Jade Knight is because he is going to be the best unit to help you in the early game stages, even end game. He is a full AOE unit. That means that means he's going to hit every single enemy in his range. So you can place him at the front, which is going to make it very easy to destroy them shields. Also, what you can do is come over to spirits and in spirits, you go to the sea chances. You can see that storm has a 25% cooldown on the unit. And you can also get something called arcane. What arcane does is it makes you attack through their shield. So that way you can hit all of the units through their shield. This spirit is probably the best for Tower of Eternity and for this method. You can run this with four accounts, six accounts, eight accounts, depending on how many gems you want. And right now, because Jade Knight is very, very, very easy to get, it's so easy to obtain him because he's on the lucky banner, which means he has a three to five times chance to actually get the mythic. For example, as you can see, he is a 0.5%. If we go to the standard banner, he is a 0.25. So it pretty much is a two times chance to actually get this mythic. He is going to help you through any stage. Make sure you guys get this unit on all of your alt accounts. If you do farm with the alt accounts. Because he's going to make Tower of Eternity a breeze. For example, you can also go into your items. You can scroll down and use these mini look potions. I'm going to put some on. And we're going to spin. Just to see if we can actually get the secret or Jade Fire Knight. As you can see, we did get the mythic. We'll show, we'll give a little look now, see if he's shiny. And we got his shiny Jade Fire Knight. This is going to be insane for my alt account if I do want to transfer him. But we will do some rerolls on him just to see if we can get that almighty for my alt account. As you can see, here he is. Let's do a couple rerolls. We're going to keep Sonic 1 on him because that will help his SBA. Okay, now what we are going to do is showcase how to use this unit and also how to clear with the macro. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, we have loaded in onto my alt account and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is stand in this little circle here. How you set it up is I like to line myself up with this line here and stand right like this. Right, then once you have done this, you're going to put your camera to the top and zoom all the way out. By the way, this macro will be in my Discord down below, so if you do want to download it, make sure you join. However, let's get straight back into the video. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to complete the first round. So, what I mean by the first round is I mean the tower. You want to complete your first floor. Worded that completely wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to complete the first round. As you can see, I have Natsu on right now. He is the unit I'm going to be using. He has Dark on him, which is terrible. Make sure you re-roll that because I'm going to re-roll it. I forgot to do that. Like I said, we're going to complete this floor as fast as possible just so we can begin the macro. Okay, this is the screen that you're going to want to see. Now, how you start this macro is going to the 
these specs and you're going to want to go into recording. You want playback on control and then you want recording on F8. Then you're going to switch these two around once you've finished the recording. You want to want to have continuous playback and always on top and that's everything that you need. Once you have done this, you're going to want to press F8 like so and you're going to want to spam click play next. You'll know that you're spam clicking because you'll see the start game flash a little bit like this. Now you're just going to want to let it load. On wave 3, I can actually place down my Natsu. So I'm going to place my Natsu down right here. I'm going to spam click upwards just so I can get that placement and then make sure you press C. Just do it again. Just to click, click, click. Just get that little placement in. And then once you have done, that is fine. Press C. But now you're going to want to have your ground unit. Your ground unit is going to be the boss killer. I'm going to put mine here. So I'm going to be putting it in slot 4. And I'm going to spam click it. Then you're going to want to press C. Make sure you place all your units down like so. Now I'm going to place my Natsu one more time down. Just so I have another burn unit. Now this is the setup we are rocking. What you're going to do is you're going to want to press C. This way you have not clicked on a unit and you have no unit active now what you're going to do is click on the unit you want to evolve i'm going to click on flame dragon god the reason for this is because i'm going to get his burn damage up just a little bit just so we can carry them end game waves so i'm going to upgrade him twice and then i'm going to move on to my guts and i'm going to upgrade him the reason for this is because he's going to be the boss killer because some bosses natsu can't actually hit so i do recommend using guts the unit i mentioned before he's very very overpowered and you are going to want to use natsu these are the three units you are going to want to use, otherwise there's no point doing it. Okay, so we are on wave 15 and we are going to kill the boss. As you can see, killed it. <laughs> that was very fast. It only took us six minutes to actually complete this run. So what we are going to do is we are going to wait an extra 30 seconds because some of the maps are different. So not all maps can actually hit. So if you wait around 30 seconds after completion, maybe a minute if you want to be safe, it's completely up to you, then that's how you do this macro. All you're going to want to do is end the recording, click on record, I'm going to put this to control shift or R, you're going to want to put playback F8, and then it's going to repeat this cycle. If you did like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you do want to become a member, you get very good early access content, so for example, this video would be early. So you can get yourself them gems in case it gets patched in the future videos. However, this has been Milk. Make sure you find that caption. Leave a comment down below. Send it me on Discord. And have an amazing day.